Hey everybody, this is going to be my first attempt to make a decent intro for my story, okay? I've been living a really, really, really rough life over the last three years. I've been in and out of jail several times. I've been falsely accused of stealing my father's four-wheeler, so now my family has completely deserted me. I am an outcast. I'm shunned. I've been surviving when I'm not in jail over something that someone has decided to fabricate, yes, that's right, falsely accuse me of, and Jeff Davis Parish, which is the parish I stay in, has obliged them by picking me up on hearsay and holding me until my court date just to release me with no charges. Yes, I'm living it rough, okay? I've managed to survive without a job, transportation, Electricity, water, or food stamps. Now, the only reason that I've been able to do this is because of God's good graces, okay? They have some really good people out here in this world who like my company and not pity me. They don't pity me because of my situation. I don't pity myself. I sell bullfrogs. I pray to God. I live on the bayou. I don't wear shoes, at least most of the time. That's just what I'm used to. No one in this town seems to even blink an eye when I wear a mask around town, you know, because I got several masks. I made some and some of them are really, really cool and probably copyrighted. So I probably can't wear them and publicize them on YouTube. Maybe so, but they'd have to pay me. That's besides the point. Look, I'm well traveled. I'm, I'm knowledgeable of many, many things. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of a couple. I've been studying the stories of John Lafitte, Jean Lafitte, however you want to pronounce it. The man was a great man. Now I can go on I can go on and on and on about, you know, who he knew and where he went to school and where he possibly was from and how many ships he had and whether or not the Calcasieu River is really in Lake Charles or if Baratoria was really his, his base camp after they decided to sack it, you know, or what his what his um position was in the Battle of New Orleans. And how he helped shape and found what we call the United States by by hitting every ship that he possibly could and taking all their wealth, the Spanish, French, Europeans, whichever whichever you want to call it. I'm like I said, I'm not very well spoken and I'm not used to talking in public. All right, and I'm kind of tired. I'm, I need to take a shower because I've been, like I said, I've been roughing it. But I have. Yeah, I have found several artifacts that directly link this treasure story to reality. Okay, that means I have solid, solid circumstantial, not circumstantial evidence. That means the circumstances have led me to find these. But, you know, it's real hardcore evidence. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop this right here and just titled this video i don't care what you think elton louisiana you can't judge me only god could judge me and i'm about to blow your minds